We need this imagination, we need this for hope, we need this to approve our lives, to make it to the better. It's hard to say when I first encountered street art because I grew up in kind of a graffiti since I was 16. But let's say around 2012, 13, I took things a bit serious after a while not painting graffiti and then working a lot on just art, like drawing. And then I discovered it's really nice to climb in in abandoned places, abandoned houses, to experiment a little bit more on walls. And from one comes to the other, and it's actually the last years the street art scene has been changed so much. What's possible now, you could not imagine like 15, 20 years ago. I try to focus on the narrative part when I'm, when I'm working with art. But let's say the main thing is that I try to use my imagination and try to grab deep in my subconsciousness of all the things I met and see during the days, during travels. Kind of look at it as a philosophical way and then I make this drawing. I have this uh, little character I developed a while ago. It's a personage with the head of a bird. It stands for the person that can be totally free as a bird in the head, but at the same time restricted to the human uh, conditions. But as a human, we can imagine a lot of things. From this point on, I started to develop this species doing a lot of things in difficult or different situations. It started actually as like a diary I made while I was traveling to tell about the things that I conquered or met or the people I met or situations I had to cope with. But I found it nice to not talk about it from my perspective but search for more universal thing for this wall I picked a work that that I made in my studio before and that I thought it would like work with the idea of this utopia it, this this work is called one second of life and it's actually like this one moment in life that that can change everything like a lot of my work these free birds they are especially my murals coping with a, a, a situation which is in, in, in movement, which is uh, not a stable situation. In this work I chose for a, a big killer whale jumping out of the water and this is like a very strong strong movement. It can, be, it can symbolize for a lot of things that we have not under our control. But on the same time, these free birds, they manage to, to build their whole life on this one, one very moment. It, it works two ways. In one way, it works like um, it's for us to be stand still in some situations that are in movement. On the other hand, it tells about this importance of this one second. Like there, in, in our lives, we can, we can have weeks and even months of, of living the same routine. And yet there can be one sparkle, one thing that totally changed everything. And that's about what this painting is about, this duality of time. I find that there is a need for people to see things that are not just aesthetically nice, but they also touch their imagination. That they, they can be taken away for one second actually to out of their reality, out of their daily concerns, which might make some room for them to imagine again. We need this imagination, we need this for hope, we need this to approve our lives, to make it to the better. And I hope and I, I strongly believe that art can, can help with that process. Around 2013, 14, for the first time organized myself, I curated a street art festival, or at least some murals, in my hometown. And I really noticed the importance of, of this engagement as an artist. The will to make your own habitat actually nicer and to invite different artists, it also can fuel your own work. And coming to see here in Bacau, it's really so impressive how passionate the people are. I'm walking with this t-shirt and I notice that around that people know that this is living 
considering the amazing big crew you're working with and the, the intrinsic drive to do this, to make your own city better, to, to let people stop on their blocks, not just run away from their own city to, to hide in their own houses. That's something really to, to be proud of actually. It deserves a lot of respect and I have all the respect for the Zidar team because I think it's an amazing initiative. Very bad, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> I think I said that, no? I think it was, it was really nice. It was really nice to be here. I, um, I love you all.